Nancy, nancybatty.com, how are you today? Today's moment of inspiration is coming to you from John Casilli's Get Em Stuck. John Casilli is a wonderful man who is a business and personal coach, and he's written a couple of books, and one of his first ones was called Getting Unstuck. It's a small, simple, but yet very effective book. Um, if you're realizing that, you know, there's parts of your life that aren't flowing as optimally as they could be. So are there parts of your life that you're stuck in? Are there parts of your life, any of the seven pillars of your life, that you could use a little boost and, and to get out of the rut and the routine that you're in and start to realize that, you know, there's greater... There's a greater world out there. There's greater opportunity. It's so easy for each of us to kind of stay on the treadmill of our, you know, our own little routine that we've carved out into our life. And, and it's so easy just day by day to keep doing the same thing and, and have these expectations or these thoughts, you know, that somewhere down the road in the, in the near future or the distant future that we're going to do things differently, you know, we're going to change things. Our life is going to get more exciting. We're going to accomplish more things. The dreams that we have will eventually be fulfilled. But you know, time just goes by. And it's so easy for all of us to be so preconditioned to what we do, how we do it, the routines that we have. And unless we actually take deliberate, conscious effort and thought to kind of really look at what we're doing in our lives, where we are, you know, are we living to our fullest potential? Are we recognizing how amazing we are? Are we recognizing that there's no barriers? And the only barriers that are out there are the ones that we place on ourselves, primarily through our limiting beliefs, primarily through our conditioned thoughts that we've just become so entrenched in and, and developed as habits to just keep ourselves thinking small and acting small. And the clincher to it is we don't even realize that we're doing it. So, you know, is there a part of your life that you just kind of think like, you know, if I were to be really, really honest with myself and, and sit and evaluate the different areas of my life, there's a lot of room for improvement. You know, I could be a lot happier. So, today's moment is a little... Um, a little autobiography that was written by Portia Nelson. Here we go. I walk down the street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in. I am lost. I am helpless. It's not my fault. It takes me forever to find my way out. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place. But it isn't my fault. It still takes me a long time to get out. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it there. I still fall in. It's a habit. My eyes are wide open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. I walk down another street. How reflective is that of your life? In your relationship? The choices you make to get into the relationships you have? In your business or career? In your health? What parts of your life could use some transformation? What parts of your life are you stuck in? What parts of your life could you perhaps take a little bit more responsibility enhance it and expand it to a much greater capacity. I'm Nancy Batty, nancybatty.com, offering enlightenment through compassion and kindness. 
I hope you have a fabulous day. Love yourself first. Extend yourself to others. Come and check us out. Come and see what we can do to help you on your journey to greater fulfillment. Have a beautiful day.